to the Beehive, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. Scott Brian Autry, born July 9th, 1953, in Maywood, California. Do you know Maywood? I don't know that place. But he was a typical child growing up. He was a good little boy. He had nice parents and a good loving dad. I'd say that Scott was a pretty good looking boy. He's just a typical boy. Good looking, handsome young man. But nobody, just nobody knew what was gonna happen in the life of Scott Autry. At the age of 11, Scott started his racing career. He started racing at age 11, flat track at the Paris Auto Speedway. By the age of 15, Scott had his first major victory in the 100cc class at Rosarita JP in Mexico. Rosarita, that's south of the border. At the age of 17 and 18, Scott was a road racer. He raced in the Daytona 200, placed second place in the novice class. Scott was a good rider. His friends were partying and hanging out. And Scott, he liked surfing. He was a surfer dude. Go check out Scott. He looked like a surfer to me. And he was focusing on racing TT and flat track also. He was a skilled motorcycle rider. He was just focusing on being a racer. He sacrificed his teen years to become a motorcycle racer. was really one of the most amazing years of his accomplishments. He was just incredible in 72. As a raw rookie, Scott went into Speedway. Gangbusters, he was good. He was so good, he went to D1 fast. And he was in the United States National Championship. A totally raw rookie. Scott went into the national championship and he placed second place on the podium his first attempt as a raw rookie. That's incredible. Scott placed second place to the rocket Rick Woods. Behind Scott was the machine. Fast Mike Bass. He was good. Mike Bass was behind Scott Autry in Scott's first attempt in the national. That's just amazing. It makes me wonder, like, how many United States championships would Scott Autry have won if he had stayed in the United States? I bet many. That same year in 72, Scott Autry flew over the pond to watch the World Championship at the Wembley Stadium. It was there Scott decided that he was going to be a speedway racer over the pond, and that was going to be Scott's next move. Scott got discovered by the late, great Ivan the Great Major. He was at Wimbledon after the meet there, I believe it was. He was practicing around the speedway track and Ivan Major was watching him ride. Scott Autry borrowed Ronnie Moore's old JP and he flew around that track like gangbusters. And Ivan Major has discovered Scott Autry at that time. was it. Ivan Major decided he liked Scott Autry so much that he invited him to join him the next year in 73 to race for the Exeter Falcons. I can say just one thing. If you impress Ivan Majors, you are a pretty good writer. that Scott was more than a pretty good rider. He raced the next seven years, the seven seasons, for the Exeter Falcons. 
And the following year, in 1973, Scott helped the Exeter Falcons win the league championship. Scott remembers his early days at Exeter. They had their first daytime match, and he went ahead and remembered it. And we're going to tell you exactly what he had to say about that. Exeter was a bit down and out. There wasn't much money floating about. Yet people scraped enough to go through the turnstiles with their little ones, showed up week after week to watch our team. For many, the sacrifice was costly. It was then I, the thought came to me, the least I could do to repay is every week give it all I had for the team and not to pretend I was something that I wasn't. Being honest here, it turned out to be a great lesson in life that has stood the test of time in the latter years. Over and over, I haven't forgotten. Scott Autry. Scott was very prolific with his words and very prolific as a racer on the track. He was good. And in 1976, Scott became the first United States Speedway rider to actually race in that United States World Championship. And in 76, he was the first American to race in that event since the late, great Ernie Rocio did in 1951. Scott raced in a total of two World Championships. And that 76 World Championship, he was third place in that event. He was on the podium. I'd say Scott Autry was a pretty good rider. Not only was Scott a pretty good rider, but he was married. He was a father. He had a little child with him. And he would take that little child to the races. And when I had Bruce the Fox Penhall on the show, Bruce was like, I can't believe that Scott Autry was going around the tracks with his wife and his baby. You know, Speedway is a very scary sport, especially if you crash at those speeds. And Bruce Penhall just said, I could never have done that because it's just too much pressure to have a wife and a baby, yet alone racing Speedway. Scott was a pretty cool guy. He could handle the pressure really well. He talked about Speedway and racing, and this is what he had to say. Let's go ahead and check it out. I was thinking about racing, and sometimes racers get put high on a pedestal. It's a bit of a false emotion. All racers did what was considered their job. It was simply what they were paid to do. A bit risky? Absolutely, at times. But we all did it with a passion. We were the lucky ones to be able to participate and get paid for it. Some of our compatriots never made it from the tunnel back to the normal life again. Some fell by the wayside. The forevermore they were fallen. Yeah, but we gained more than we deserved during that journey. It certainly was a surreal experience that could never be duplicated. Scott Autry. Racing as many seasons as Scott did in the British League was hard. It's really difficult. But along with those hard times came good times too. He won many championships, events, trophies. We're not going to talk about it right now, but Scott had a lot of success in Britain. Along with the good times came some bad times too. It comes with everybody. Everybody has difficult times in their life. That's human. Let's go ahead and read what Scott has to say about that. We've all had our really tough times in our lives, tragic losses and downright crappy times. I know that one. But I've always been blessed and I know that. I've said this before. I'm grateful for the life which has been given me. Really grateful. Nothing is perfect. Nor will it ever be, but that's okay. Guess just that's the way things work. As in boxing, if you get knocked down, there's nothing wrong with taking that eight count to clear your head and get back and fight. Just don't stay down. This is where Steve Gresham showed up, and he got me up.
One of the reasons that Steve Gresham and I are so close to this day, he wouldn't let me quit and say no mas. Thank you, brother. Love ya. Scott Autry. And Steve Gresham was no slouch. He was a good British League writer. He was a tough guy. He was good. Congratulations, Steve Gresham. One of the cool things that I thought he did, he raced for Team United States in the World Team Cup in 1980. His teammates were Bruce the Fox Pinhall, Bobby Schwartz, Ron Preston, and Dennis Segalo Siggy, and they placed second in that team event. Just two years later, in 1982, there was a tragic event that shocked the Speedway world. On July 16, 1982, we lost Denny Pyatt at Hackney Speedway. He actually raced and he died in a crash from head injuries during that race, and the Speedway world was saddened. That same year in 82, Scott was invited to race for Team America in the World Team Cup and they went ahead and dedicated that particular event to the fallen Denny Pyatt who had passed away earlier that year. And they won that event. The Team USA won it with 34 points at the White City track in London. They did a great job. Congratulations guys. Scott's teammates was Bruce Penhall, Bobby Schwartz, the Moran brothers, Kelly and Sean, and they went ahead and dedicated that pillar of victory to the memory of Denny Pyatt. After the 82 season, he and along with the Fox, Bruce Penhall, they hung it up. They hung up their still shoes. Bruce went into acting on the TV show Chips, and Scott Autry went on to NASCAR. Scott is a very well-read guy. He should write a book. He's really just a good writer. He's a good reader. He likes to read. That's his hobby, of course. But Scott went on to be a helicopter pilot in Texas. Scott Brian Autry, an American superstar in Speedway. He gave it his all for 10 seasons. He was famous in Europe. He was really, he has a lot of fans there, but not so many in America, because why? Because he raced in Europe almost his whole career. But it, Scott Autry was really great. I wonder how many championships he would have won if he stayed in America. He probably would have won a lot. But Scott Autry, we thank you so much for all the hard years, dedications, and even the crashes you took. You've had a fantastic career, and we appreciate it. We honor the life of Scott Autry. He's a good man, and we thank him so much. And we thank you, Scott, for all the dedication and the hard work you gave us and all the pleasure we had watching your race. So we appreciate you, Scott Autry.